Hello everybody, good morning. I am going to be doing some TPR videos. Um, I've seen lots of people asking like, I don't know what to do for this, or is there a list of TPR, or things like that. So um, I will make this first one, and I started going through and I was like, oh, I'll be able to do like all the general TPR. There's so much. <laughs> So I will do kind of one today and if it has a good response, then I'll keep making some. And especially if you guys want to tell me words that you might struggle with, um, then I can try and do that. So first off, I want to talk about what is TPR, which you may know, but just as a quick review, it is total physical response. Now, this means you can use props. It means you can use your hands. It means you can use your words. It's not just acting things out. It's not straights. But the other important thing about it is you want the student to be doing it as well, because if they're able to be kinesthetically involved in their learning, they're more likely to remember it. So that is just a quick review. And today I am going to be doing more um, prop free TPR in case you don't have props or um, if you are maybe traveling or something like that. So don't think that this is maybe the best way of doing it, but just think this is like, if I don't have anything uh, available to me, this is what I can do. So understand that definitely you could use props in any of these things, but I'm going to try and do it as minimally as possible so then anyone can do it in their classroom. There are also two types of TPR. There is instructional and there is educational. So instructional, this is where you are giving them commands or um, instructing them to do things on the slides. So really quick, I'm gonna just go through um, the general ones with that. Normally, um, when you point to your mouth, it is you correcting them or teaching them a new vocabulary you want them to repeat. So you are not always pointing at your mouth when you speak. It's more to emphasize like, this is what they're learning, this is what they need to repeat. And then this is inviting them to respond or to repeat what you've just said or anytime you want a response. So you'll probably do this more than you do this, but that's um, just general with instructional TPR. So draw a line, but of course you can use a prop with that. Um, circle, circle, and I mean, of course, props help with that, showing them to circle, but you can show them circle. Um, match, I'll often say like, cause they're often matching like a big letter and a small letter. So I'll say like, big, small, draw a line. So that just helps them see to match again. So you can do it like, again, again, or sometimes I'll just do it with my fingers, again again and some people like to use sign language the problem with sign language is that some of it doesn't make sense to the student and sometimes it does so like again in sign language maybe a student would understand that so just be careful um, when you're using that the other thing with TPR is just remember use what makes sense so if something seems to make sense use it you don't have to use the same TPR as me or as anyone else you can use what might make sense to the student or to yourself stop or stop, um, go, or go, however you wanna use that. Um, look or see, so you'll often look. I'll be like, find. This is it in sign language, but sometimes the students get that. Um, then quiet, loud, loud, read right so those are some general instructional tpr next everything else is pretty much educational educational means it goes along with the lesson or what you are trying to teach them what you're trying to educate them so i have a huge list and so i probably won't be going through all of them today i'll probably start making subsequent um videos with tpr and try and keep them grouped together so some of these I mean, you can skip over, maybe watch it and fast forward and go through them fast. And if there's one that maybe helps you. Really quick, I do wanna hit on, there are the movements that go with each letter sound. Now, some of these may not make sense, but if you understand that it's based on the phonemic sound, um, then that's why they're doing it. So like uh, for F, we do a f, f, and some people think it's like fan, and that's it's actually meant to be a fish. But VAP Kid does have a link that shows all those movements, and I will try and put that below, or maybe I'll put it as a card at the top, and you can just click it, and it'll take you to that video. But it will show you all of the, the vowel sounds um, movements. I won't be doing those today. So if you want to check out that, that's going to be available for you. Okay, so now, whew, looking at my list. When you start doing the room stuff, so room, that really kind of gives a visual of being in a room, <gasps> table or table, desk, 
chair. Let's, you've got a great visual right there. <laughs> um, lamp. Ding. Like light is on a lamp. <laughs> Bed. Um, wardrobe. <gasps> Clothes are in the wardrobe. <laughs> um, stand up. And I'll sometimes do it like stand up. Sit down. <gasps> Sit down. Family, this one, I'll usually use a prop, but if you don't have a prop, then I'll really, use, like, they usually know mom and dad, for the most part. So I'll be like, mom, dad, you, family. And so that's kind of one way to show family. Where, where, that's kind of what I do. Or I'll put on, put on, <laughs> buy, if I, I, I do have money, but if I don't, then I just like, oh, buy. <laughs> like I'll pretend I buy food. Like I'll be like, oh, buy. <gasps> and so <laughs> I'll pretend that. That's like in the pass, please pass. <gasps> Thank you. And name now this is really important when you're doing like trials or meeting new students I always have my name up to use with my TPR but then I'll also point to like my shirt myself <gasps> Mary Mary my name is Mary and then you can your name Mary <laughs> so really using that TPR also of course how are you <gasps> happy that yeah now to finish up the greetings, um, like when you have to ask them like how old they are, like how old are you? Four, five, and you can also show like growing. <laughs> and that is also, yeah, when you grow, when I'll have like a tree or a plant and it grows. <gasps> um, those are just a few. And so I, of course, did not do nearly how many words there are for TPR, but that need TPR. So make sure that <laughs> if you um, have more that you want to see or know, or even if you want to share the ones that you do, that would be great. Um, but thank you so much. Um, let me know if this video is helpful. If it isn't, then no more TPR videos. But if they are, let me know what words you might be struggling with. Thanks.